हेलो क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोनिका बजाज योर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर चैप्टर नंबर टू नो द फूड यू ईट वी लव टू ईट वेराइटी ऑफ फूड आइटम्स इन आर मील्स फूड इज द बेसिक नेसेसरी ऑफ लाइफ इट प्रोवाइडर्स एनर्जी टू ग्रो प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम डिजीजेज एंड हेल्प अस टू स्टे हेल्थी इनफैक्ट सच वेराइटीज आर रिक्वायर्ड बार आर बॉडी इट सेल्फ लेटर सी हाउ द वेराइटी ऑफ फूड फुलफिल्स ऑल आर रिक्वायरमेंट्स Let's see an extra meal. The food eaten at a particular time of the day is called a meal. Components of foods. The foods that we eat consist of different components. These are called nutrients. Nutrients are in fact chemical substances present in the food which provide us energy and materials needed by the body. Seven components are present in the food. These are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals fiber and water certain type of food contain only one nutrients example sugar contains carbohydrates other types of food may be rich in one particular nutrient but may contain other nutrient as well for example meat is a rich source of protein but is also contain fats vitamins and minerals let's discuss about first carbohydrates carbohydrates are provide food and are the main source of energy for the body they are organic compound of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in a wide variety of combination there are two major type of carbohydrates in food that is sugar and other is starch the most important role of carbohydrates is to provide energy for muscles contractions and for the functioning of nerve and the brain cells liver and muscles are the places of store for carbohydrates our energy varies with age occupation and physiological state all the carbohydrates during the process of digestion are broken down into simpler form known as glucose all carbohydrates during the process of digestion are broken down into the simplest form known as glucose This glucose is oxidized during respiration to release energy in a slow and stepwise process which occurs with the help of enzymes. The energy of the food is measured in calories or kg which means kilojoules. See this equation. Glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy in our body cells. This is called oxidation of food. It occurs during the cellular respiration. Sources of carbohydrates. Some common sources of carbohydrates in our diet are rice, wheat, potatoes, sweet potatoes, sugar, ginger, bread and biscuits. Fruits like banana, mangoes and melons also contain carbohydrate. Next one is fat. Fats form an important part of our diet. Fats also provide energy. In fact, a little more energy as compared to carbohydrates. Fats are used to store energy in our body. Sources of eatable animals: fats are cod liver oil, butter, or ghee cheese, etc. Fats are obtained from milk, meat, and under the skin of animals. Sources of edible plants: fats are peanuts, soya bean. sunflower sesam coconut olive and vegetable oils the presence of the fats can also be detected with the help of a simple test let's see an extra mile fats are of two types good fat and bad fat good fat helps body to fight cancer and provide us energy bad fat deposit in body and cause her problems third one is proteins proteins are necessary to help the body grow and be strong they help repair and damages in the body protein are made up of amino acids amino acids are made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus we need proteins from food like meat eggs fish pulses and some dry fruits protein from animal products are called first class protein as they contain all the amino acids 
proteins from plants product are called the amino acids protein form the major component of all living things that is why proteins are an essential component of a diet see this picture from which we get protein meat egg pulses and fish fourth one is vitamin vitamins are needed in small amounts yet they are very important for keeping our body healthy there is a number of vitamins which our body needs and each of these is found in different food items and has a specific role to play for the functioning of our body our body needs vitamin a b b complex c d e and k vitamin b complex is a group of several vitamins such as b2 b6 b9 and b12 since our body can make only two vitamins example vitamin d and k other vitamins must be present in our food there are two classes of vitamins these are as follows water soluble vitamins vitamin b and c are soluble in water they are observed in the blood stream and excess amount is thrown out of the body these vitamins are not stored in the body they need to be regularly supplied through food next one is fat soluble vitamin vitamin a d e and k are fat soluble vitamins these are stored in the body fat and are used only when the body needs them milk eggs meat fruits vegetables and dry fruits are rich sources of vitamins for best vitamin value food should be eaten as fresh as possible different vitamins have different vital function in the body this is shown in the table given below kinds of vitamins and functions vitamin a keeps skin and eyes healthy vitamin b group of vitamins help in the proper functioning of nerves and muscles vitamin c keeps blood vessels teeth and gums healthy heals cut and injuries whereas vitamin d makes bones and teeth strong different food items and particular food and vegetable provide us with different vitamins the following table given us the information kinds of vitamins and food items vitamin a papaya milk mango carrot vitamin b green vegetables eggs milk whole cereals vitamin c orange guava tomato amla lemon whereas vitamin d milk butter egg and fish see these pictures for better understanding next one is minerals just like vitamins minerals are also protective food they help our body to remain healthy they are also required in small quantities like vitamins some important minerals includes calcium sodium potassium phosphorus iron and iodine calcium and phosphorus are essential for the proper formation of bones and teeth milk egg cheese and pulses are rich in these two minerals let's see an extra minerals iron is essential for the formation of hemoglobin the red pigment present in the red blood cells green leafy vegetables eggs nuts peas and liver are good source of iron see these examples next component is fiber the food we eat contains some of the nutrients in varying proportions however there is a component in food which cannot be digested this is roughage or fiber these help us digest our food and prevent constipation we get fiber from foods like fruits and vegetables let's see an extra mile though fiber has no nutritive value yet it is important in the process of digestion next component is water water constitutes almost 70% of the body weight the water requirement of the body is met by drinking water and through other liquids The food that we eat has water in it though it may look dry. Water serves several important function in our body. Let's see. It act as a solvent in the body for thousands of substances. 
इट हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ डाइजेस्टेड फूड एंड ऑक्सीजन थ्रू आउट द बॉडी इट हेल्प इन एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ सॉल्यूबल वेस्ट इट रेगुलेट्स आर बॉडी टेम्परेचर इट इज एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ द ब्लड एंड डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस वी शुड टेक अबाउट टू टू थ्री लीटर्स ऑफ वॉटर एवरी डे एक्टिविटी एम टू शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वॉटर इन द फूड आइटम्स मटीरियल्स फ्रेश फ्रूट लेमन और ऑरेंज वेजिटेबल पटैटो स्पिनिच लीव और टमैटो एंड अ नाइफ प्रोसीजर टेक अ फ्रेश फ्रूट और वेजिटेबल कट इट इन टू पीसेस एंड टच द पीसेस विद योर फिंगर्स ऑब्जर्वेशन योर फिंगर्स बिकम डम इनफ्रेंस वॉटर इज प्रेजेंट इन द फूड आइटम नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज बैलेंस डाइट डिफरेंट फूड आइटम्स कंटेन डिफरेंट न्यूट्रिय to get all the nutrients that are necessary for our body we have to eat a variety of food items a diet that contains sufficient quantities of all nutrients that are required for proper growth and functioning of the body is called a balanced diet the requirement of the nutrients differ from one individual to another it depends on factors like age gender health conditions and level of activity of a person For example, a laborer needs more carbohydrates and fats in comparison to a person doing routine office work. A growing child needs more protein than an old person. A teenager needs more energy than a baby. Undernutrition and malnutrition. Undernutrition. In the previous topic, you have learned that to stay healthy, we should take balanced diet in a required amount. If we take less than the required food even if it is balanced it will make us weak and sick such an healthy state of the body due to the intake of lesser quantity of food is called undernutrition undernutrition may be due to the following reasons first one due to poverty poor people quite often are not able to buy the required quantity of food therefore they suffer from undernutrition next one is due to non availability of food sometimes due to reasons beyond the control of people sufficient food might not be available for example during natural calamities such as flood drought etc the food may be not available for example during natural calamities such as flood drought etc the food may not be available malnutrition 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 sometimes our diet may be lacking in one or more nutrients in such a situation even if we eat sufficient food our body does not get the required nourishment as a result we may get weak or fall sick such a condition in which people become weak and sick due to lack of one or more nutrients in one's diet is termed as malnutrition thus malnutrition may be either due to carelessness or lack of education both the undernutrition and malnutrition retard the growth and cause mental and physical disabilities in people of all age groups the growing children are affected very badly by undernutrition and malnutrition for example if a child get lesser carbohydrates and protein in his diet he suffer from protein energy malnutrition pem a child suffering from malnutrition falls sick quite often a malnourished child does not need costly medicines or tonics he should be given the required amount of balanced diet deficiency diseases a disease caused due to lack of one or more nutrients in the diet is called deficiency disease or nutritional disorder diseases develop if the deficiency continues over a long period of time deficiency diseases can not be transmitted from one person to another and can be prevented by eating a balanced diet it must be understood that even excessive intake of food leads to health problems excessive intake of food is called overeating and it leads to condition called obesity This is a condition in which the body tends to gain weight and become fat. Obesity leads to problems of the heart. 
first deficiency of carbohydrates absence of carbohydrates in a diet leads to weakness and tiredness it causes physical and mental stress a balanced intake of carbohydrate is must for a healthy person overeating carbohydrates on the other hand make some people overweight and obese these obese people have a high probability of suffering from other diseases such as heart problems and diabetes second is deficiency of protein protein are body building foods following symptoms appear if a person does not get enough protein in the diet stunted growth swelling of face diarrhea discoloration of hair skin problems swollen abdomen or protruding belly in children deficiency of protein leads to severe malnutrition and disease like kwashiorkor and marasmus develop kwashiorkor a disease which occurs in children due to protein deficiency marasmus is a disease which occurs due to the deficiency of proteins as well as carbohydrates in children third deficiency of vitamins important vitamins are diseases caused due to their deficiencies vitamin and deficiency disease vitamin a night blindness which is the inability to see in dim light b beriberi skin diseases retarded growth anemia vitamin c scurvy which makes the gums swell up and bleed vitamin d rickets which affect children's bones making them soft and bent and vitamin k excessive bleeding from wounds fourth deficiency of fat like carbohydrates fat also provide energy to the body fat give more energy than carbohydrates on equal basis fats help in the synthesis of vitamin d and k in our body fats also help in keeping the skin and hair soft so only a limited quantity of fats oils should be taken in the diet deficiency of fat causes body weakness and loss of stamina the excessive intake of fats oil is very harmful to our body the excessive fats get deposited in the body tissues and cause obesity obesity leads to heart diseases and high blood pressure fifth deficiency of minerals important minerals and diseases caused due to their deficiency see this chart minerals deficiency diseases iron anemia calcium stunted growth rickets excessive bleeding phosphorus weakness soft bones and brittle teeth sodium muscular cramps potassium muscle weakness paralysis weak nerve responsiveness and last iodine goiter mental retardation stunted growth so children let's quick revise readers digest food provide us energy to grow protect us from diseases and help us to stay healthy carbohydrates are energy giving food they consist of sugars and starch fat provide more energy than carbohydrates proteins are body building foods they help in repair and growth of cells and tissues water is extremely important as our body contains 70% water fiber is essential for maintaining good digestive system a balanced diet contains all nutrients in proper amount eating too much of food cause obesity okay children we have done your chapter it's time to take your leave thank you